Welcome everyone, Mike with Bowers Barbecue coming to you today from my backyard. Now today's video, we're gonna try out a new grill grate on the Rectech Bullseye. We're gonna be using the Aurora uh, cast iron grill grate to see if it gives the perfect sear on steaks and burgers. But first, we gotta start the fire. This Kaiserin grate is super heavy, 22 and a half inches, so it fits on the Rectech Bullseye perfectly. Let's go test it out. All right, like I said, this thing is, is hefty. This thing <laughs> weighs a lot. If I had to guess, it would be about 30 pounds. It's, it's, it's pretty good weight to it. Um, the packaging says that you don't have to um, season it, that it comes straight out of the box ready to go. We're going to season it for a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and burn on the Rectech Bullseye for about 30 minutes at 350 degrees. Let's get started. All right, as you can see, this fits perfectly within the Bullseye. We're going to spray some canola oil on this. And like I said, burn it off for about 350 degrees. A little canola oil here. Nice little coating. We're good there. All right, we're gonna let that come to tip and burn off the, the canola oil. Okay, while that cast iron grill grate is uh, getting the burn off, we're gonna go ahead and season a steak. I'm gonna use a steak to demonstrate the, the grill marks that provides. I'm gonna season this with some Gibson's Steakhouse seasoning. I absolutely love this stuff. Um, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know my family and I really love going to Walt Disney World. And at Disney Springs, there's a steakhouse there, or steak and seafood house called The Boathouse. This is their seasoning there. They're part of the Gibson Steak family out of Chicago. We absolutely love going to that place. In fact, we love going to Disney World so much, my wife and I have decided to start a little travel agency. We're part of Fantastical Vacations. Um, we're Fantastical Vacations by Mike and Kara. If you and your family are considering a, a trip to Walt Disney World, a Disney cruise, or Universal Studios, definitely give us a shot. Our Instagram can be found at the Yoho Duo. And of course, I'll put a link down below. All right, we're gonna let this seasoning sit here for about 30 minutes while the grill's finishing up the burn off. And before we put it on, we're gonna add some coarse black ground pepper to this as well. See you then. All right, 30 minutes later, this is burned off pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and take that temperature back down to the low setting. We're gonna reverse sear this ribeye. All right, we're gonna go ahead and place the steak right here in the middle. We're gonna let it set there to about an internal temperature of 115. Okay, so we're waiting for that steak to come to temp. Now's a good time to go ahead and hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already. It means the absolute world to me, it gets the videos out there. If you haven't subscribed, I please ask you to go ahead and subscribe. My goal on this channel is to get to six million subscribers. I originally had my goal set at nine million, but I was like, nah. That's just way too much. Let's go for the six million. Um, actually, six is a good number for us. Uh, my daughter, she um, beat cancer on June the 6th, so six is our, our lucky number. We we absolutely love that number here. All right, if you want to make sure you don't miss a single video, go ahead and ring that notification bell as well. We'll see you when the steak's up to temp. All right, let's take a look at the steak. It's a little over, but that's okay. Look about 120, 123. We're gonna go ahead and pull this, let it rest while I bring the bullseye up to riot mode. I'm gonna get hate on these pigtails, but I absolutely love it. I don't care. <laughs> All right, so the Rectech grill is just under uh, 550 degrees. Uh, plenty hot to sear. Let's go ahead and get the steak on. Throw a jalapeno as well. The steaks, I like to put on the front here so you get a little bit of that fire coming out through the deflector grate. All right, we're gonna let that set for about a minute and a half. All right, it's been on for a minute and a half. Let's flip it. Pretty decent grill marks there. All right, get another minute and a half. All right, let's take a look. This looks absolutely amazing. I like it. All right, let's let it rest. 
while that steak is resting, we're gonna try a burger. All right, let's get that burger a flip. All right, let's get that burger off the grill. It's pretty good. All right, look at these burgers and the steaks. Absolutely gorgeous. I do say the lines aren't too dark and maybe because I didn't let it say hot enough before I um, put them on the grates, but overall, I'm pretty excited about that, you know, because honestly, grill marks don't mean much. Let's cut into them. All right, let's go ahead and cut into the steak. We're not going to cut into the burger, but we're going to cut into the steak. Pretty good medium, medium rare right there. I um, may have overcooked a little bit, but man, that, that's awesome. I'm not mad at that at all. That looks absolutely amazing. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much perfect, guys. I absolutely love that. Let's take a bite. I'm gonna take a bite here. It's a little, little fat on it. Absolutely stunning. I mean, this, this is perfect, y'all. This is absolutely perfect. All right, now we got, I gotta get the bite. This is, this is so good. I don't know if you can see here on the burger, kind of like to say good lines, but not too dark and pronounced. I think that'll get better as I use the grill more. Sorry guys, this is my, my dinner, so I'm enjoying it. I think it'll get better as time goes on. Um, I'm, I'm really happy with this. It's great. This is, this is a winner. So yeah, the, the question is, do I like the, um, the Aurora grill grate? I absolutely love it. I cannot wait to use this more. I think it's something you definitely want to use on your Rectech Bullseye. I um, I'll go ahead and put affiliate link in the comments below or the description of the video. So that way you can buy your own. I do get a small commission on that. It helps out the channel. Really do appreciate it if you use that link. So yeah, definite success. I am, um, I'm gonna go eat my lunch. You guys be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Until the next video, the fire is out. Hmm.